<laughs> it's just such a fatuous remark, you know? I mean, that was one of the early capitalist industries was, well, you know, like they said on that great uh, comedy show, Mr. Show, you know, people mm-hmm. selling people to people. Like, that's, <laughs> that's one of the first industries that there is. And without all that free labor, there's no cotton boom. And people don't realize, look, like cotton, big deal. I don't wear cotton. Like cotton was the <laughs> oil of that time. You know, like the whole industrialization of the northern part of the country, where we look down on the south, you know, school of capitalism here instead of that early slave plantation economy. It was that super low cost cotton, thanks to not having to pay your workforce anything, because you enslaved them and you own their children and can sell them if you want. Like, that's why that feed resource was so cheap. That, that's a big part of why the country is rich to this day. So that's amazing to me. But also, it's kind of goofy. When I was talking to him, like, you talk to these Ayn Rand libertarians, and they say, oh, you know, the the government's, you know, you, America's not capitalist, so we can blame our problems on the parts that aren't capitalist rather than the reality, which is a very capitalist here, you know. And just because these words become empty, you know, capitalism is where you you got an economic system based on markets, you know, where supply and demand in markets decide how much we're going to make of different products and where you have private property on a large scale. So not just like your personal pair of pants and your smartphone or your private property, but also like I can own all the land in a, you know, you can be like Larry Ellison, who is a Washingtonian like me, who bought the island of Lanai, one of the Hawaiian islands. That's his island. He bought it. This was like in 2005 or something, you know, it's a little while back there. Uh, that's interesting. You can own all the telecommunications wires in a region that bring the internet to you. You can own the oil refineries that let us have energy. Like, that's capitalism. And so the fact that we have, like, Social Security and Medicare so that old people can get health care, even if their pension doesn't cover it, like, that's not enough to make it socialist, Mr. Brooke. I'm very sorry. So these guys have been ducking out of recognizing capitalism's problems by pegging them on the fact that government exists at all. The fact is, yes. it's existing on top of a capitalist system, and it's kind of a cheap evasion, you know. And plus, these guys talk like Reagan never happened, you know, ever since the Reagan Revolution. <laughs> you know, since it's the neoliberal period, and we've been hacking away at the EPA, hacking away at taxes on the rich, you know, cutting labor law enforcement. The unions have been pretty crushed. Those aren't small changes, and they're all changes that move us closer to that pure capitalism of the Gilded Age, you know, the late 1800s that I was trying to get him to think about for a second. So to me, it just shows, like, you know, these guys, they have a lot of intellectual pretensions, and some of them have degrees, and they get a lot of Koch brother, you know, dark money, whose, you know, sources we can't really see. So they can be very prominent, but they're total intellectual opportunists as soon as you dig under the surface of it. To hear the rest of the show and more, you can find us at This Is Revolution Podcast. Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Podbean, SoundCloud, or wherever else you get your podcasts. This Is Revolution.